Thank you for viewing Find Your Approach Golf. My name is Jamie Stone, and today we're going to do an end lesson with David Morris. And today we're going to do it on tendencies in our swing and tension. Dave has a tendency of taking the club a little bit inside, as we all have in the past. Probably 90% of the viewers can relate to this because of videos or instruction you've watched that's told you to hit a draw, it's got to come inside to outside, inside to outside. So over time, it really came inside. Now, Dave here, go ahead and get ready to hit a ball, Dave. In Dave's normal swing, he has a tendency to, it's not trying to control the swing, but it's, it's really tensing in it throughout it so it's hard for the club to get in the positions it needs to get in because the tension is restricting it. So right here let's just hit a ball normal. Now super sloppy is when I say super sloppy I mean in the tension meaning I want you feeling like your body's as loose. I mean, it can literally go anywhere you want it to go. So your rest, body. rest super sloppy. Right? Yeah, I want everything okay. super sloppy. Like, so, like for sale. Right. Yes, and if you feel it in your hands or your arms, for say, that the club's not setting or whatever, take you a couple, just do this a couple times. You see how I'm turning, I'm turning the bottom of that club down. I'm just letting my wrist go. Soft wrist. All right, this time, the loosen your whole body, shoulders, arms, everything in your body. Loosen it up. That looks outstanding. Now, once we eliminate the tension, that's the number one key to fixing our tendons. Because tension, it's hard to see because you can't see it. It goes unseen. So the only way we can eliminate tension is we have to be able to identify it. If you can't identify it, you can't eliminate it. So one of the ways to identify it is because nobody wants to swing with tension. Self-consciously, it just happens. Is when we get to the ball or before in our pre-shot, we have to tense up. I prefer to do it behind the golf ball. Meaning my pre-shot would be, I may come here and look down the line, and I may really tense my body up from here. Squeezing it hard. Squeezing everything as okay. hard as I can. All right. But as I walk into the line, or into the ball, I'm all about a line. Meaning I have the visible line, and I'm squeezing as hard as I can, and once I go to walk in, now I'm letting all that go. So now my tension is free, and from that line on, I'm trying to get super lazy. Meaning, so I come in, set up, and go. Once we, when I say go, our trigger, this is what happened to 90% of the people. They'll let go of the tension, get to here, and be tension free until that second and a half pause happens before they hit. Because in that second and a half pause, I promise you nothing good happens. The only thing you're gonna do is one, you're gonna think about where it might go, not where it's gonna go. Two, tension is creeping back in your body. If you're one of those people, once we set up to it, keep the club moving, look at your target. Now I got my target, and go. So, you have to figure out when the tension's coming, identify that. Then once you identify it, you gotta figure out how it's best suits you to eliminate it. So right here, I'm going to get Dave to run through his pre-shot one time, and we're going to use the line drill with Dave. So Dave, just stand back here behind the ball. 
And what I want you to do is picture this being a real golf shot, and I want you to put as much tension as your body in your body as you possibly can. And as you pass this line, you're going to release all of it. Now keep it going, do not pause for a long period of time. Huh. A high three yard draw. I mean, that's all you can ask for. That is perfect. Yeah, so I mean, and, and tell me, what are you feeling when you do this? What do you feel differently in your swing? I feel that the club can come out of my hands at any moment. Okay, it's so loose. Are you feeling it set? Or are you feeling it really come Yeah, through? I feel it set and hold the set just naturally without me thinking about it consciously. Once you take the tension out, believe it or not, you start to develop more feels because this club gets heavier and you feel it all the way through your swing. So your feels become more accurate. So right here, run through it. Let it out. Perfect. Now, the next time Dave goes to play golf, he's got to keep that in mind. Meaning when we hit a bad shot, let's not look to, well, maybe this is it. Or maybe I got to set it here because when I do that, I'm adding to the problem. Meaning, and that's what I do. Yes. I'm, all I'm going to do is, and now I'm going to try to fix it by tension creeping in and now I'm trying to control too many aspects. Right. And when you're trying to control it and your body's full of tension, you have no feels because you can't feel because if, if you grab this as hard as you can and I have no feel because I can't feel the weight of anything. Right. As I get looser, now I feel everything. Well, I felt that too when you did that to me. Yeah. I, really, I feel it, you know, dropping. It's just naturally now. So, it feels like it's my swing and it just is natural. That's right. And the beauty of that is when you can feel all the feels, it's much easier to identify when I come over the top of it because I, I can really feel it. Or when I'm not or when I'm sliding, because I really feel it. But the first key is we've got to get that tension out. And I would say getting the tension out will, I mean, it will change your swing drastic, I would say. You will see drastic improvement. So my advice for the first key for Dave would be, every day he goes to practice, designate 50 balls before the session starts of simply nothing but swinging super sloppy with no tension okay and maybe do 30 balls like that and then do 20 balls with our line okay and i think that right there is the first key to eliminating getting the club inside and being a little bit too stiff at the top so i hope this tip helps you out and if you're doing this you've got to identify it number one when you identify it then you got to understand it to be able to fix it. Then you got to own it. If you own it, you're going to play better golf.